Red Sea being parted. Mm -hmm. And he saw the hand of God that wrote the new the, 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 the Ten Commandments. Mm -hmm. And he saw Pharaoh. I mean, he saw everything. But it got to a point where I was like, God, this is good. Mm -hmm. But now, go with us. Mm -hmm. Go with us. Yes. Because he realized, God, if you don't go with us, mm -hmm. let us stay here. Mm -hmm. Because here we are for sure knowing that you are in this place. But if you are telling us that you are going to go with us, we need you to come with us. Yes. And the Lord was pleased with Moses. Mm. Um, I tell you, people of God, and that is what I am here to talk about. Mm. The presence of God in our lives. Amen. The presence of God makes things easier. Mm -hmm. Because when what it means the other day on Friday at the conference, we were told that the kingdom of God is in us. Hallelujah. Mm. Amen. The kingdom, I mean, think of a kingdom. Mm -hmm. If you can't even fathom the kingdom, Think of the presidency. Mm -hmm. Imagine the whole White House mm -hmm. being in you. Mm -hmm. The whole presidency mm -hmm. being in you. Mm -hmm. And what that means is that the, the, the presidency, the, the kingdom comes with power. Mm -hmm. The kingdom comes with dominion. Hallelujah. Amen. And what the Lord is saying is that the kingdom of God, mm -hmm. it is not out there, but it is in you. Yes. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And the only way the kingdom of God will operate in you mm -hmm. is when you are open to let the kingdom operate. Hallelujah. Amen. Because what that means is that God is in you. The God that is all powerful. Mm -hmm. The God of heaven and earth. The God that is Jehovah. Mm. The man of war. Mm. The one that we know that is holy. Yes. The God that at every 24 hours mm. the elder, 24 elders all they do is bow down mm -hmm. and say you are holy. Yes. You are holy God. Mm. That holy God. Yes. And his whole kingdom uh, is in us. Mm. And what God is calling us today is for us to stay in, to stay in a way that accommodates the God of heaven. We have to live in a way that accommodates the God that is holy in us. Amen. And that is what I'm about to talk about. Mm. The presence of God in our life. Mm. You cannot be in the presence of God and be out of the presence. Mm. You are either in God mm. or you are not. Mm. You are either in God or you are in the world. Mm. And I am calling the church of Jesus Christ if you're watching me online, because I know you're watching me online, I am calling you to a, a life that is full of the presence of God. Amen. If the kingdom of God is going to operate in us, mm. we must operate as per the regulations mm. of the kingdom. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Every place of work you have ever worked, mm. there is rules and regulations. Yep. Even this church has rules and regulations. Mm -hmm. we are, the reason why we are not facing this way is because this is where the way it has been set up. Mm -hmm. The reason why we are not sitting outside is because this is where we were meant to be. Mm -hmm. At your house, as people come into your house, in, as people come into your place of business, there are rules and regulations that you have set. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if there was no structure, if there were no rules, then it is chaos. Hallelujah. Amen. You do not want chaos. Mm. Imagine if by the time you go to this church, if all the lights, are, if all the traffic lights were all red, mm -hmm. or if they were all green, mm -hmm. we wouldn't be here. Mm -hmm. We would have been crashed on the road. Mm -hmm. But what I'm trying to say is that every place has structure, mm -hmm. including the kingdom. Yes. If the kingdom of God is going to operate in us, mm -hmm. we have to operate per its regulations. Yes. We have to operate per its structures. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. And I preached this word in the morning at Jabo Radio. And I told them that Jesus Christ is coming back mm. for a church that is without blemish. Yes. Without blemish is one of the regulations. Mm. We have to be a people without blemish. Mm. And I said a lot of times people will say it is impossible to live a good life. Mm. It is impossible to live a holy life. Mm. And I want to point to a man that lived a holy life. Mm. And that man is the one that we have been studying for the theme of this conference. A man called called Job, whom the Lord God of heaven said that he was blameless. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. And Job, during the time
time of Job there was no Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. Akina Job they were not even saved. Mm-hmm. But this time mm-hmm. the Lord has given us his son. Yeah. He has given us his Holy Spirit mm-hmm. to enable us to live a holy life. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. And so it is possible my sisters, mm-hmm. it is possible who you who is watching me online mm-hmm. to live a holy life. Yes. It is possible. Mm-hmm. Job lived a holy life. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Job, the Bible says that Satan went to God and said, have you seen, have you seen Job? Mm -hmm. And God said, yes, I know where he lives. Mm -hmm. He is a blameless man in my sight. Mm -hmm. He is a man of integrity. Integrity is the other regulation of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. If the kingdom of God is to operate in our lives, we have to be people of integrity. Mm -hmm. Integrity is doing what is right, whether people are watching, Mm -hmm. whether people are not. Mm -hmm. Integrity is walking right. Hallelujah. Children, integrity is doing something Mm -hmm. that is right even when your parents are not home. Mm -hmm. That is integrity. Nobody has to follow you to say to see that you are that you went to the place that you went to. Mm-hmm. Nobody has to follow you to see that you went to work at night mm-hmm. when you say you went to work. Mm-hmm. Nobody is to follow you to see who you are talking to mm-hmm. because your conversations are spiced with the goodness of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm talking of integrity. Mm-hmm. Integrity right now it is it's one of those things people I mean it's one of those things lack of integrity is one of those things that is bringing people down. Mm -hmm. Great people are coming down because of lack of integrity. Mm -hmm. Because they have been found doing things that they did not say, that that, that they were not supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. They have been found saying things, you know, you know, especially in the days of social media. Mm -hmm. This is the time, I tell you, my sisters, my prayer is that we, especially we who walk in teaching and in preaching and everything else of God. Mm. It is the time that we need to be so careful Mm. to walk in integrity. Because always assume that somebody is following you with Mm. a camera. Mm. Hey, if you say you are going to Boston, you go to Boston. You don't go to Washington, (laughs) D.C. If you say you are going to North Carolina, you go to North Carolina. (laughs) Because I am telling you, my sisters, Mm. the enemy is after our integrity. Mm -hmm. And unless we are people who walk in integrity of heart, yes. Oh, my sisters, Mm. we will be seen in newspapers. Mm. We will be seen in and in social media. Mm. Things that have been hidden are coming out mm. because of now they're with the social media. Even in your conversations with people, you know this WhatsApp group that we are all in. You try to send a message and you think you are sending to one person mm. and you put it in a group and you turn <laughs> off the phone because you are at work and by the time you go back you can't even go and delete it. <laughs> then seven minutes are already gone. But if you walk in integrity, let me tell you, I have been telling God to help me even in my conversations. Mm. When I am typing, I do not want to have to check where am I, you know, may I, mm. may, may, my type was this in the wrong message group. Mm. Because let me tell you, you never know. You will click, it's gone, Mm. and you think you're waiting for a response. Mm. Hope you sent it to the wrong person. Mm. Integrity is having conversations that cannot embarrass you. That if you send that message to the wrong group, Mm. you will not be embarrassed. Hallelujah. That if by by accident you are trying to send a message to Pastor Lucy and you send it to Purity, Mm. it wasn't talking about somebody else. Uh That you can come and say, oh, I'm so sorry, that message, I was sending it to a brother or a sister who I was ministering to. Mm. Integrity. Mm. Integrity. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, let me tell you, people of God, there comes a time when we have to purpose. Amen. Mm. And if there is a time to purpose, it is now. Oh, this message, you can call it the power of living right. Mm. The power of integrity. Mm. The power of walking in holiness. Mm. Because God is calling us to walk in holiness. Yeah. In the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 3, mm. the Lord said, uh, the Bible says that it is God's will for us to live Righteously, yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. So righteousness is another num- uh, is another thing. Mm. Righteousness, we have to live righteously. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Do not wait for people to tell you to live righteously. Mm-hmm. Start now. Mm. Purpose that you are going to live right. Hallelujah. Amen. In the book of uh, in the book of Psalms uh, Psalms one verse six. Psalms one verse six. Children, do you have your Bible? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Look at Psalms one verse six. 
the book of chapter uh, the book of Psalms chapter 1 the book of Psalms chapter 1 is a man the, the book of Psalms chapter 1 describes one who is blessed and the Bible says that blessed is the one who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked mm. that means that there are people who we are going to cut off walking with mm -hmm. we still love them but we are there there are ways there are things that we're going to cut off of our lives mm -hmm. hallelujah amen or this man does, stand, does, does not stand in the way that sinners take mm. it means that there is a way that sinners take mm. there is a path that they have chosen mm. but this path that they have chosen we who have chosen to live godly light mm. we will not take that path Amen. because the way that sinners have taken that path will lead to destruction mm. and we are not about to be destroyed mm. hallelujah Amen. and blessed is the man whose delight is in the law of the Lord. Mm. I don't know where your delight is this morning, mm. but if your delight is in the way of the Lord, you are the person described in book in, in Psalms chapter 1. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. His delight is in the law of the Lord, and he meditates on his law day and night. Mm. People of integrity meditate on the word of God day and night. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That person who meditates on the word of God day and night, that person who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, that person who does not stand in the way that sinners take, mm. that person who delights in the law of the Lord mm. and meditates on it daily, that person is like a tree planted by the streams of water. Mm. And that person who is like the, the tree planted by the streams of water will yield its fruits in season. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me tell you, children of God, we are about bearing fruit. Mm -hmm. I told you, ladies, that being empowered is about touching lives. Mm -hmm. You're not being empowered to sit. You're mm -hmm. being empowered to go and make exploits. Mm -hmm. You are uh, being empowered to go and bring people into the kingdom of God. Amen. But the only way you will be able to do that is if you are fruitful. Mm -hmm. And the only way to be fruitful is if you are planted in the things of God. Amen. As if you are planted in the law of God. Mm. As if you are planted in the grace of God. Amen. As if you are planted in the power of God. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. That way you will be like that tree planted by the streams of water and you will yield season fru fruits mm. in season and whose leaf does not wither. Mm. Whatever you will do, it will prosper. Amen. Whatever you will do, mm. it will prosper. Yes. If you are a woman of integrity, if you are a man of integrity, if you are one person who is walking in integrity of heart, mm. hallelujah, yeah. if you are one person who is walking in the ways of the Lord, mm. whatever you shall do, mm. it shall prosper. This is not my word. Mm. This is the word of God. And it does not matter what people say, but whatever you shall do, it shall prosper. You will prosper in your family. You will prosper in school. You will prosper in business. Hallelujah. Amen. What this means is that the Lord will set you high above your peers. Amen. Mm -hmm. There are places that the Lord is waiting to place you. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Because you are one person who walks in the way of the Lord mm -hmm. and who yields to the counsel of God. Amen. Amen. But not so for the wicked. This is the distinction that the Lord is making. There is a distinction that the Lord is making for they that live for him. Mm -hmm. And for they that do not live for him, this will not be their portion. Hallelujah. Amen. Therefore, the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the, sum, in the assembly of the righteous. Mm -hmm. God will remove the wicked people from you. Mm -hmm. You will not see them. Hallelujah. Amen. But the Lord watches over the way of the righteous. Amen. Amen. Oh, there comes a time when you do not have to worry. Because the Lord, you are 100% sure that he is watching over your way. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, the Lord this morning mm. is looking for somebody. The Bible says that the eye of the Lord mm. looks to and fro, you know, goes to and to and fro. Mm. Looking to strengthen that person whose heart mm. stayed on him. Mm. Not to look, not looking for the person who is all over the place, 
but looking for the heart that is stayed in him mm. meaning that you purpose that your heart will stay in the lord Amen. praise the lord Amen. hallelujah mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus is coming back mm. for a people like you and I. People who have purpose to stay in the Lord. Mm. Amen. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. We have heard from the book of 1 Thessalonians that the Lord is waiting on us. Mm. That the Lord is willing for us. Mm. That God is desiring for us mm. to live righteously. Amen. If he is desiring for us to live righteously, mm -hmm. he knows that he has the ability to help us. Amen. All we need to do is to desire. Mm -hmm. And he will come and fulfill that desire to live righteously for him. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. And when you start living righteously, you will see your life being different. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. The things that you used to struggle with, they shall, the struggle shall be no more. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord watches over the way of the righteous. If you can look at, uh, if you can read First Kings chapter nine, First Kings chapter nine, verse four, and this is the life of Solomon. First Kings chapter nine, verse four, and this is the story of Solomon. And Solomon had had this burden to build a house for the Lord. And the Bible says his dad, wanted, his father David wanted to build a house. But the Lord said, you are a man that shed so much blood. Your son instead will build for me my house. And the Bible says that, the, the, that Solomon had built his own house and also he had built the temple for the Lord. And it came to the time of dedicating this temple unto the Lord. And when Solomon looked at the temple, he went into prayer as he dedicated this temple. And the Bible says that uh, by, by when they went to dedicate this temple, the Bible says that they offered so much sacrifices that at some point Solomon had to tell the people, do not bring any more. Mm -hmm. I am praying for a people mm -hmm. that will sacrifice so much oh, unto the yes. Lord, that will not have a problem of giving. Mm -hmm. They will give willingly. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. They, will they will bring stuff into the house of the Lord mm. until the pastor will say, okay, this is enough. Uh -huh. We don't have a place to store it. <laughs> this is enough. Amen. Please do not bring any more. Mm. And the Bible says that Solomon and his people, they offered so much mm. goats and you know, everything that you can think of. Mm. And they took it to the dedication of the temple. And when the, when the dedication had finished, the Bible says Solomon God appeared to him a second time. Mm. And God said, I have heard the prayer that is in chapter 9 of First King. When Solomon had finished building the temple and the royal, and the royal palace and had shipped all that he had desired for the Lord, the Lord appeared to him at Gibeon. And he said, I have heard the prayer, the prayer and the plea that you have made before me. And I have consecrated this temple which you have built for me by putting my name there forever. As for you, Solomon, if you walk before me faithfully with integrity of heart and, uprightness, uh, and uprightness as David your, your father did, and do all I command and observe my decrees and my laws. After you have done all this, if you do all these things, I, Jehovah, I will establish your royal throne over Israel forever. As I promised David, your father, when I say, you shall never have, you shall never fail to have a successor on the throne of Israel. All God wanted for Solomon to do was to live for him with integrity of heart. Hallelujah. Amen. And God said, I have heard the prayer, but I tell you, Solomon, all I desire, this palace is beautiful. It's magnificent. The people have never seen. I, Jehovah, I knew it. I have seen beauty. So I knew this place and I know it's beautiful and I love it. I love it enough that I have put my name in that temple. But Solomon, what I desire, mm. what I desire of you yes. is to walk before me faithfully. Amen. Hallelujah. Today, what God desires, mm. it is not for you to do all these things. Mm. And these things are good because they function in the house of the Lord. Mm. But you can do so much in the kingdom. Mm. You can run around. You can do so many things. You can sing in worship. You can preach in the pulpit. You can offer money. You can build homes. But all God is desiring is for you to walk 
in integrity of heart. Amen. Because that is how he gets to fellowship with you. Mm. Our God is a holy God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He functions in holiness. Praise the Lord. Amen. And when he sees us walking with integrity of heart, mm. oh, he gets happy. Hallelujah. Amen. And God said, if you do all these things, if you walk before me faithfully, hallelujah. Amen. My prayer is that in this service, we have people who are desiring to walk faithfully before the Lord. Amen. Because I can tell you, God is never mocked. Hallelujah. Amen. God is never mocked. When we do not walk faithfully before the Lord, He knows it. I was telling the people that I was talking to earlier, I was telling them, listen, God sees our hearts. God sees our emotions. God sees our feelings. God sees our intentions of why we do things. But all God is desiring this morning is our heart to be upright before him Amen. and when he sees the bible says that a broken and a contrite heart mm. he will not despise and that is what god is calling us for this morning a people that will come and just love on him for who he is not for what he can do for them mm. david in psalms 27 verse 4 i think it's verse 4 he said oh god the one thing that I desire is that I may dwell in the house of the Lord mm. all the days of my life. Yes. Not to come and ask, not to come and ask for anointing, mm. but just to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord. Yes. David was so much in love with God mm. that he said, God, I just want to come and gaze at your beauty mm. because it is you I'm interested in. Mm. I love the things that you give me, but God, if you didn't give those things to me, I would still be madly in love with uh -huh. you. And these are the people that God is looking. And when you are that kind of a person who touches the heart of God, hallelujah, Amen. who God looks and sees, uh, this person doesn't even want anything. Mm. Ah, he just wants me. Mm. It is me they are interested in. And God will be like, hey, yeah. even those things, yeah. give them to her. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because when a man pleases the Lord. Mm. The Bible says he makes even his enemies at peace with him. Amen. Oh, let me tell you, my sisters, mm. when you please the Lord, mm. hey, there's no, there's no limit mm. of what God can do for Amen. you. When you please the Lord, when you are one person who walks in the counsel of God, mm. because you are sensitive to him, when he's looking for somebody to send, you are the first person. Mm. Because he will say, my servant purity, my servant Jane, my servant Mary, my servant watching online is ready to go because God has come to rely on you. Amen. God has come to depend on you because he has seen it's you, it's him you are interested in. Mm. And if you're interested in the in somebody, you are interested in their affairs. Uh -huh. When you are interested in God, uh -huh. you will be interested in his, his affairs. Yes. You will be interested in what his heartbeat is. Hallelujah. Yeah. Mm. You'll be going to God and asking him, God, what are your goals for me this uh -huh. year? Uh -huh. What do you want me to, where do you want me to go? Mm. Send me, I'm available. Amen. You will, God will not be chasing after you. Mm. Mm. You know, can I send you? No. He will be, he will even be saying, I am going to send purity because I know she is going to do the assignment. Amen. Praise the Lord. Mm. So people of God, and you who is watching me online, the Lord tonight is calling for you and I to walk in integrity of heart. He's pleased with all the things that we do for him. The many ceremonies that we have. And those things are good. But all those ceremonies are nothing. If the reason why you do them is for you. The Lord is desiring for you to go to him in worship, in praise, in adoration. Amen. But adoration that comes from a relationship with him. Amen. Adoration that comes from a true heart. A, 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 a relation, you know. God is calling us for a relationship. Mm. God is interested in a relationship. David in the book of Psalms 18. Hallelujah. This was David after he had been terrorized by his enemies. And it got to a point where the Bible says that David cried unto the Lord. Welcome my brother. We're glad you're here. Amen. Amen. And, Dave, and, and Job. And sorry, David was going through a tough time. He had been chased by his enemies and it got to a point where he just cried out unto the Lord and the Bible says that the cry of David reached unto Jehovah Amen. and the Bible says in Psalms 18 verse 6 in my distress I called to the Lord I cried to my God for help from his temple he heard my voice my cry came before him into his ears and the earth trembled and quaked and the foundations of the mountains shook 
they trembled because he was angry. Let me tell you, when God gets to see that we have his best interest at heart, when somebody messes us, messes up with us, he gets angry. Uh -huh. And I'm telling you, he will leave heaven to come and rescue you. Amen. And the Bible says that God came down and smoke rose from his nose, consuming fire came from his mouth, mm -hmm. burning coals blazed out of his mouth. He parted the heavens and came down. Why? Because somebody who had walked with integrity in integrity of heart had been hurt, had been injured, had been crying, calling on the name of the Lord. Out of the brightness of his presence, clouds advanced with hailstones and bolts of lightning. I was telling the people when I was preaching earlier that when I see lightning, I don't get scared because I notice somebody whom God is sending lightning to go and rescue them. The <laughs> Lord gathered from heaven. When you hear thunderstorm, yeah. that is somebody who has prayed. The Lord <laughs> thundered from heaven. The voice of the Most High mm. resounded. Mm. Why? Because somebody who had walked with integrity of heart had called unto heaven. Amen. Oh, I tell you, my sisters, when you get to that level, that you have walked with God, that you have walked faithfully before the Lord, when you call heaven, your cry registers. Hey, hey. if there is any way they measure cries in heaven, mm. if maybe there is a way that they have uh, labeled your cry. <laughs> if, that la if that cry reaches the ears of God, uh. he stops what he's doing and comes down. Uh -huh. And maybe somebody else, he sends angels. Uh -huh. But there are people who God will come down. Ooh. People who have pleased him, my Amen. sister. People who have pleased him, my brother. Mm. Those he will not even send angels. Mm. The Bible says he came down mm. with lightning. And the Bible says that the wind, the wings of the wind carried him. Mm. And he reached down from on high and took hold of me. And he drew me out of the deep waters. He rescued me from my powerful enemies, from enemies that were too strong for me. They confronted me in the day of disaster, but the Lord was my support. Amen. And then where I want even us to look further, it's, it's verse 23. And the Bible says that when David looked at this, he had been, you know, this was not the first time that God had rescued David. David had been through wars. David had been through fights. He was a man who was always being chased by the enemies. And he was a warrior as we know him after fighting Goliath. But it got to a point, David looked at this deliverance and he sat down and said, there is a reason why God has come through this time. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh my goodness, not all battles are the same. Mm. Not all battles have the same intensity. Mm. And because of that, not all battles are delivered from, from the same. Mm. Some things are so intense that God has to come down. I am praying today that the Lord God of heaven will send help. Mm. If he means to come down, mm. he will come down. Amen. If he needs to send Michael or Gabriel, uh -huh. he will send them. Amen. If he needs to send the angels that we don't know their name, hey. he will do that. Hey. But I am saying that David sat down and looked mm. and said, mm -mm, mm. this kind of deliverance, mm. this kind of deliverance mm. is not usual. Mm. And he dis and he came to a revelation that the reason why God had delivered him is because he had been blameless before God mm. and had kept himself from sin. Mm. My sister, I am telling you, these are two people that we have seen that were able to keep themselves from sin. And I know that we live in a fallen world. And I know like, that we like to excuse ourselves. And I know that we like to excuse ourselves because we live in a fallen world. We cannot avoid sin. But David lived in a fallen world. Mm. Job lived in a fallen world. Hallelujah. Amen. Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, mm. they lived in a fallen world. Mm. But the Bible says that they purpose not to defile themselves. Amen. They purpose, my sister. Mm. Meaning we have a work to do. Mm. We have a work to do. We have to purpose to live in a fallen world, but live right. Amen. That when we call heaven, mm. heaven comes down. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And David said, I have been blameless before him, and I have kept myself from sin. The Lord has rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanliness of my hands in, in his sight. Mm. Oh, I don't know. I, you know, I was telling God, God, I don't know if I can say this. Mm. 
And I was looking at my life. I'm like, God, I want to be able to say this. Mm -hmm. That God, you have come down because of me living right for you. Mm -hmm. And I purposed that I'm going to live right. Amen. Hey, I am going to. Let me tell you, we have to try. Amen. We have to purpose. Mm -hmm. Because these were people who lived in a sinful world. Job said he had purposed in his mind not to look lustfully at a woman. Because maybe he knew that was his problem. Mm -hmm. So he purposed, I'm not going to look lustfully. Mm -hmm. I have made, David at some point said, I have made a covenant with my, my eyes. Me, I have said, I have made a covenant with my eyes. My eyes will see God. My eyes will see right. Amen. My ears, I have made a covenant with these ears. Mm. Oh my goodness, I will not hear nonsense. Mm. I will not hear nonsense from the enemy. Mm. This mouth will bless. Amen. This mouth will disarray. Yes. This mouth will declare blessings. Amen. This mouth will utter decrees. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. And so if this mouth is going to be blessed, Less, mm. It is not going to speak nonsense. Yes. It is not going to speak filth. Yeah. Because if this mouth is going to resurrect the dead, mm. hey, it better be devoted unto the Lord. Yes. It better speak power. Hallelujah. Yes. This mouth is going to speak positive things. Amen. All to the glory and honor of your name. Mm. We have to purpose, my sisters. Mm. It is not going to be automatic. See, we woke up in the morning. Mm. We didn't have to worry about the weather. Mm. We knew that the sun would shine. Yeah. We know that, that the sun will set mm. and the moon will, whatever the moon does. We know when it is supposed to rain, it will rain. We, are, we don't have control over that. Mm. Our lives in the Lord are, have to be lived purposely. Mm. It's not automatic that we will wake up and not sin. But we have to wake up and purpose. On this day, I have woken up. Yes. I am going to speak right. Mm. I am going to think right. Yes. I have a transformed mind. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. One time I remember I was going through a hard time. I used to have all these, um, I was having fear. And there were these fear uh, things, uh, fear statements that were coming in me all the time. And I was going through a tough time and I was so afraid. And then I realized that the Bible says that fear torments. Mm. And I decided one day, I woke up and I went to, got my anointing oil. I went into the shower and I anointed my head because me i'm like my head leaves my my brain lives here my <laughs> mind is up here at least as far as we were told by the scientists and the biologists and i took hold of my anointing oil and i anointed my mind and i said you mind wherever you recite in there and i anointed my whole head making sure i don't miss a piece of my head because my mind was going to be transformed if it did what it was going to be transformed hey. by, by by force amen david said Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, mm. and all that is within me, mm. and forget not what? His the, benefits. His benefit. yeah. He was commanding his soul to bless the Lord. Mm. My mind, I was commanding it to think right. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. And I don't know what your problem is. I don't know where you have issues, mm. but you have to purpose. Whatever issues those are, if they're the ones that are derailing you from living out the full purposes of God in your life, mm. you better do what I did. Mm. Go anoint. If it is your mouth that is always landing you in problems, <laughs> if it is your mouth causing you to sin, mm. if it is your ears causing you to sin, mm. if it is your legs it's causing you to sin. Mm. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. David said, my hands. Mm. And that was, yeah. At some point, Job, actually Job said, my hands, I have never taken something that belonged to somebody else. Mm -hmm. That was what Job said at one point. Because he was looking at his life and why he had gone through so much. And he started to confess that he hadn't seen. That his hands had not touched anything that they were not supposed to touch. That his eyes had not seen what they were not supposed to see. What am I talking about? This was David and he said, To the faithful you show yourself faithful. Mm -hmm. to, be, to the blameless you show yourself blameless. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. To the pure, you show yourself pure. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. So if we're going to live a life of integrity, mm. we are going to purpose to walk in integrity of heart. Mm. The way King Solomon was told by God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says in Job chapter 8 verse 20, that God, Job said that, God, you do not neglect mm. the righteous people. 
if you live righteously, the Lord will not neglect you. And I'm here to tell you that in this life, there's going to be challenges. Challenges that are going to want to take you from the presence of God. But you purpose to live in there in the presence of God. You purpose to be the man that does not walk in the counsel of the wicked. Purpose to live right. Hallelujah. Hey, say even if 10,000 people who live in my city are doing it, mm. I am not going to do it. Hey. I am going to be the one man standing. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Amen. At the end of life, you want to be able to say, I stood yep. and I walked in integrity. Amen. And when we do that, my sisters, my brothers, mm. when we do that, I am telling you, you will see salvation Amen. come into your home. Mm. You will see salvation come into your household. You will see salvation come into your business. Mm. You will start functioning in fashioning in ways you never knew mm. you would even function. Amen. You will start rising in levels you never knew. Mm. Oh, my sisters. Prayer is good and I love to pray. I am a woman of prayer. But I have realized that God is requiring, after we have prayed, He wants us to walk right. Mm. We can't pray and walk like the heathen. Mm -hmm. We cannot pray, we cannot come out of the closet and go talk the way people talk. Mm. No, our conversations have to be spiced with God's whatever aroma. Mm. Our conversations have to be, when somebody listens to us, they are like, that must be Pastor Lucy. That they don't even need to see you. If you send a, a message by mistake, even before they see your name, this must be Lucy. Mm. She's the one who blesses people. Let me tell you, children of God, even you little children, we have to walk right. Mm. You have to do what mommy and daddy tells you to do. When you go to school, do the right thing. When you go to school, do the right thing. When you are at home, whether your parents are home, whether they are not, you have to do the right thing. And remember, even if your parents may not be there to see you, or your friends may not be there to see you, God is watching you. And God wants you to walk right and to do the right things. Amen? Amen. Jesus loves you. Mm. Jesus wants you to be dedicated unto him. Mm. And I love the finished work on the cross because that is the confidence that we have that we can be able to live right. Mm. The blood of Jesus Christ finished it for us. Mm. The blood of Jesus Christ, the death on the cross mm. assured us that we are accepted into the house of God yes. and that we can now walk with confidence that we are his. Mm. And because we are his, we have to function like we are his. Mm. The blood of Jesus Christ bought us at a price. Mm. It wasn't cheap. Mm. It cost the son of God his life. Mm. It cost God himself, his only begotten son, mm. that we may live life and live it abundantly. Amen. Praise the Lord. Mm. And this life that we are living, let it be a representative mm. of the finished work on the, cro on the cross. Let people not doubt your salvation. Mm. Because when they doubt your salvation, they doubt the blood of Jesus Christ. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Let people look at you and say, truly, there is salvation. Mm. By the way this woman walks, truly there is salvation. Mm. Truly there is salvation. Mm. By the way this woman talks, mm. there is salvation. Amen. Let us rise up. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, we bless you for your word. Sure. Father, we honor you for your word. There is one thing that we know. That you have died on the cross. Yes, sure. And that your blood has bought us at a price, oh yes, God. Lord. A price that wasn't cheap. Mm. God, it cost you your son mm. for us to stand. Mm. It cost you your son for us to be able to become your children. Mm. And because we have become your children, I pray that you will help us to walk mm. holy, to walk worthy of the blood that you shed for us. Yes, Lord. And I pray one thing, that you will help us to walk with integrity of heart, yes, Lord. with integrity of heart mm. our minds shall be full of god yes our hearts shall be full of god oh, yes. our eyes shall see the things of god mm. our ears shall hear the things of god mm. our mouths shall speak the oracles of god yes hallelujah mm. and if you are in this place and you do not know jesus christ as your personal savior that is the first step to start walking in integrity to what to start walking in integrity of heart if you're here and you do not know jesus christ as your personal savior 
And if you are online and you do not know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, I want you to type that you want to accept Christ. And I and Pastor Lucy will come and get your contact and we will pray with you. Because this is the beginning of it all. We want to live a life that is worth living. A life full of God. And the first step is to know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. And if you are there and you are like, I want to know this Christ. I want to start walking right. Type in your name and we will inbox you. We will follow up. We will pray with you and we will lead you in the right direction. Or maybe you are watching online and you are backslidden. You don't have the fire of God anymore. You're not even sure that you can live this life of integrity. Because you feel so far from the things of God. Type in there and say, I need prayers. Put a star in front of your name and say, I need prayers. Just put a star. We will inbox you. We will follow up. Because all this preaching is good. But if we are not effective in reaching those that are not right before God, then it will not have been effective. Are you there? Are you there? Is anyone here saying, I need prayers? I am backslidden. I need prayers. Prayers. Are you there? You don't have the, you don't feel the fire of God. You don't even get bothered in the things of God. You don't even feel like fellowshipping. Even coming here, you didn't even feel like, but it was Sunday anyway, so let me just find my place to the church. Are you there? Hallelujah. Father, we bless you. Father, we worship you this morning. As we leave this place, we live full of the power to go and live right for you. Yes, Lord. We thank you because one thing we know is that our names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Father, we bless you for what you're going to do after this. Because from here, we purpose to go and walk right. We purpose to go and live a life of integrity. That what we say is what we do. Yes. Oh my God, that what we say we are going to do is the right thing. Yes. We will not need to be followed to be seen where we are going mm. because our words will be truthful. Mm. We dedicate ourselves unto you. We dedicate our minds unto you. Mm. And we declare that on this day, February 3rd, we purpose to live for you. Yes. With your help, my God, you will yes. help us. With your help, we can make it. Mm. And so what we dedicate ourselves unto you, Thank you and we bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.